So we have Coco here. Yeah. Aww. Got it. There it goes. Do you hear that click? <laughs> it's a good play, baby. Almost to shake. Aww. Right. <laughs> I know, baby. I know. So we have Coco here. Yeah. And we have Nicole, Coco's mom and owner. And we met a couple of years ago. And I did a video with Coco a couple of years ago. And you're not going to believe this, but it was in an adult, um, what do we call it? An it's adult, an adult sex shop. An it's adult a, sex shop. That's what that was. The owner's name is Nicole and the dog's name is Coco. Tell us the breed, the age, and anything you know about, you know, of his, his uh, aches and pains. <laughs> <laughs> There's a story behind it, which I'm going to tell really quick. But the owner of the store is an old friend of mine, Sam. And um, she wanted to support me when I was starting my Animal Cracker YouTube channel. And she said, listen, you can use the store before we open. We, we open at 1 p.m. on a Sunday. So if you get here at 11 a.m., I'll invite five or six of my friends that have dogs, and you can use the space to do the video shoot. And we did, and you could see all these toys and lingerie and whatnot in the background. In the background. <laughs> and you were one of her friends that came in with your dog. I came and in do you with remember? Coco. Do you remember that? Do you we remember you Coco? To a sex store and did a. And you got your first store? alignment. Coco is a Great Pyrenees. Tell us a little bit about the Great Pyrenees. They have an interesting history. Well, they were the um, dog for French royalty, I believe in the 17th or 16th centuries, probably both. Um, they're named after the Pyrenees Mountains in France. They have dew claws to help them scale mountains. I mean, if I brought Coco up to my sister's house in Westchester once, and she lives on a mountain, and he scaled it, and her dog had never done it who was a chow chow. It's the first thing he did. The folklore is they don't know who trained who, if it was the farmer who trained um, the Great Pyrenees to become the livestock guardian, or if it was the P Great Pyrenees who trained the farmer that like, hey, we're going to guard your livestock. <laughs> but that's what they're mainly used for. I saw a YouTube video of one actually trying to scare off a moose. They can do that. <laughs> so All funny. Right. So let me see. Can I work with you today? Do you remember we worked once together and you like that? What do you think? Can we do that? Yes, All I right. think he's so ready. Gonna, he's in a good position, so I'm mean, just going to work. So one of the things I find myself doing with him is just giving him a shoulder rub. I'm up on the traps, just like everybody would love their traps rubbed. And um, Stay still. I did this course since I last seen you called How to Massage Your Dog. Okay. And the website's called HowToMassageYourDog.com. Here, don't sit down yet. No, not yet, baby. And um, it's a three and a half hour tired. course, but it teaches people how to work on their own dogs. So um, you, you really could do human massage techniques on a dog from head to toe, and that's what we show in the video. But right now I'm doing, uh, I'm doing petrissage, which is circular thumb movements, and you can do effleurage, and you can do tapotement. And so, you know, we take everything through, but right now I'm doing some work, but at the same time I'm seeing where he might need to be adjusted. So I'm gonna start up here at the atlas, and it feels like a little tight here on the left where the, wing of the left atlas meets the side of the occiput. I'm going to just get this one on you, okay? No. There it goes. Is that okay? Is that okay, baby? You did good. You did good, baby. You did good. All right, now I'm going to come down and feel the neck. The neck feels pretty good. There's one spot here. You can feel this yourself. So pick, put your finger right there, and you'll feel like a hair. Come a little lower, right into there. Mm. Oh, I, see, I feel yeah, it. Yeah, there's a lump. Yeah, there's a like lump. Like a lumpy bump. Yeah, he's and got a And that's just the, the vertebral body on that side at C4 has rotated a little bit, yeah. pushing the muscle, making the muscle jump up. Okay. So I'm going to adjust okay. that where I laterally flex. Aww. Got it. Good boy. Good and it moved boy, right baby. over. So Good it's gone. Boy. You can feel it's gone. Let me see. Yeah. Yeah. It's gone, baby. Look at that. So now I'm going to come down his <laughs> back. And we're just checking some spots. So that one was a little tender for him. Yeah. Now I'm here in the uh, withers. Dogs have seven bones in their neck. 
okay. you have 13 thoracic bones and seven bones in their lumbars. We have seven, 12, and five. Okay. And they have seven, 13, and seven. And now I'm coming down the back and just checking all these parts here. And coming all the way down. So I'm just now in your lower back, okay? <laughs> He's like, keep going, whatever you're doing, it's starting to feel good. So here's a muscle knot right at the sixth lumbar, slightly right of the spinous process. And I'm gonna just massage that for a second, and then I'm gonna adjust it. So the spinous has come to the right, so we would call this spinous right. And I can either adjust the spinous from right to left, or I could also set up on the opposite mammillary process and bring it around that way. But since I have a really good grip on this, I'm gonna just take it spinous, um, sit the spinous straight from right to left and posterior to ventral. Got it. You feel that one? Yeah, he felt that one. He did a little, like a quick exhale. Yeah, and it I made heard. a click too. It, yeah. It <laughs> but I do wanna just see if I can just get a little stretch on his tail and Sometimes it'll release a little on the pelvis. Look at his face, he's okay with this. And a little bit more. And I'm gonna do a little bit of a release now. There you go. All right, let's pick up this back leg. So I'm gonna pick up this leg into like a little doggy arabesque. Yeah, let's move this out of the way. Nice, good. Pack it up tight, feel each little joint in the leg, put that leg back down, we're gonna check the other one the leg, great. You have good extension, so you do, you do good there. Very fit dog, I'm sure you get your exercise too. And then turn this way, and I'm gonna bring this leg up, okay, let me hold this leg. You're such a nice dog. So I'm gonna just check your little flanges, your little toes. Good. This one's a little out. So I'm gonna bring this up towards me. There it goes, do you hear that click? Nice. You're such a good dog. Checking each little toe. Okay, just checking everything on you. What are you thinking about? You thinking this might be good, this might be bad. I'm rubbing at your delt. Coming into the pec next. This, this arm is good. Checking the front, chest. Do you remember that I worked on your TMJ last time? Yes. Do you remember I that? I remember, Coco. So let's just check your... Because he does chill on from time to time, and I think that might be Yeah. Different. See your little face. Good. Good. See. There's a little bit. If I remember, it was the right side last time, too, and that's from a couple of years ago. One more. Good. And then we're going to do the bottom jaw. Got it. No? Okay. <laughs> Maybe we're not going to do that. It's a good point, baby. But that was almost a shake. Aww. All right. I know, baby, I know. Yeah. All right, everybody leave Coco <laughs> a comment. There's the shake. And he reads his comments, so you want to check out, you know, leave him some communication. All right, Aww. thanks, everybody. Coco thank says you, thank Coco. you and good night. <laughs> good night. <laughs> <laughs> Who trained who? If it was the farmer who trained um, the Great Pyrenees to become the livestock guardian, or if it was the P Great Pyrenees who trained the farmer, the 